the vCore 3 repository is open for the public to read and use, but no one outside of RatRig's development team can write on it. To contribute, you can make a copy of the repository and work on your copy with full writing access. Go to the vCore 3 GitHub repository, log in or create an account on GitHub, use the fork button to create your copy of the project. Windows and Mac users can use the GitHub desktop application. Linux users are used to the CLI. In the GitHub desktop application, find your forked repository. This is where you'll be making your changes. Download and install desktop.github.com. Use the search bar to find your fork. Click the clone button. You might get an error. Ignore it. Use the option to use the fork for my own purposes. Once your changes are made and you have your STL or step files ready, you just copy them to the directory you've just cloned. Make sure you are on the develop branch. Move the files to an appropriate directory in the vCore 3 project. The GitHub application will recognize a new file. Write a descriptive commit message about the changes you bring. Hit the commit button. And finally, push origin to publish your change. Now that your changes are public and on your fork, you may want to ask for them to be pulled into the RatRigs repository. You can do that with a pull request. Go to github.com forward slash your username forward slash vico3. A notification will be there waiting for you, informing that your develop branch has changed. Click the compare and pull request button to help other users, write a detailed description of your changes, paste photos of the parts you designed, and provide any context that you think the reviewers may find useful. Create the pull request and that's it. Now you just have to wait for the RatRigs development team to address your pull request. They may ask questions or need additional input from you. Once your contributions are approved, they will be publicly available on the RatRig repository.